to add two vectors. Well, one way of doing this is by using the triangle law. So what you want to do is to place the start of the second vector at the end of the first vector. So here we'll place the vector CD. And then the sum of these two vectors is the vector which starts at the beginning of the first vector and ends at the end of the second vector. So this is the vector AB plus CD. And this is called your resultant vector, which is the sum of the two vectors AB and CD. Another method of adding the two vectors is to use the parallelogram law. This method, you want to place both vectors so that they start from the same point. So here we put the vector CD. And then you want to complete the parallelogram like so. Then your resultant vector, so the sum of the two vectors a, b and c, d, is the diagonal of your parallelogram. So this is a, b plus c, d. And you can see from this slide and the previous slide, whichever method you use, you end up with the same resultant vector. To subtract two vectors, so here we have the vector AB and the vector CD. To find AB minus CD, it's easier to change minus CD to plus minus CD. So for example, if this is the vector CD, well then this is the vector minus CD. If you remember, the negative vector just goes in the opposite direction. So then to add these two vectors, you're going to find AB plus minus CD using the triangle law. So you place the start of the second vector at the end of the first vector. So we're going to put our minus CD here. And then your resultant vector is the vector that goes from the start of the first to the end of the second, which is here. So this is actually the resultant AB minus CD.